Hello. Let's get ready with me. This is my primer that I use. Yves Saint Laurent. It has sparkle in it, but it, you don't see sparkle on your face. Thank God, because I do not want a sparkly face. You know what I'm saying? Today, I am going to a brunch event for Cheryl Hines, who's coming out with a new line of product, like home lifestyle stuff, candles, fun things like that. So I'm excited to go to this event hosted by my friend, Kathy Heller, who's my online friend. Like we message each other and we, um, I did her podcast, but this is our first time meeting in person. Oh my God. It's like we've been online dating, you know what I mean? Oh wait, is my stuff messy? Don't look in the back if my stuff is messy. Um, this one, Charlotte Tilbury. This is my favorite foundation here. Just get this little brush, okay? This one's like real compacted brush. Mm -hmm. Boom. Just put on your face. Should you go in circular motions? Should you blot it? I don't know. Just get it on there. I'm holding down my turtleneck so I can get some of the neck. So I can match. Because I am so pale right now. My face makeup doesn't even match. Also, my lighting here is not good. I need to get... Like, there's a mirror behind this camera with lighting all around it like that, but it's still not good. Also, my, I have backlighting right now, but even if I didn't have my current home, it's still, it's just something I'm dealing with, okay? Mm, let me put my hair back, hold on. I think I need... This is my little travel brush bag because, um had shows last night so I took some of my makeup with me to the green room in case I need to do a little touch up you know what I'm saying I'm getting extra coverage on my cheeks because my rosacea is sometimes just like what's up girl How have you been we're here can we come to the event and I'm like mm, I'd rather you not and she's like too bad we're already here we're already dressed let's go so I just got to cover her up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Get around your mouth. Okay. I do around the nose real good. What the? I don't know if you guys saw that person walking in my background. That was the pool guy, I think. But is he naked? Or is that my brother? Stand by. Oh, it's my brother. He's doing a cold plunge. It was my brother doing a cold plunge. I was like, oh my God, there's a naked man in my backyard. Hold on. Let me show you him. The water in the pool is like 50 degrees. That's the hot tub, but it's not on. So it's, it's, um, hella cold okay tart shape tape radiant double duty beauty this is what I've been using lately for concealer because they sent it to me and I'm like I'll try it I was using a different one that I've been using for years and I love it I don't even know where it is right now but I was like I'll try this new one and I like it so, I'll either use a sponge or this. If I use a sponge, I go wet it, but I don't feel like getting up to go wet it, so I'm going to use this. That's how I decide how I'm going to do my makeup. Am I too lazy to walk to the sink? Yes. So then this one. I was told, 40s, you when you're in your 40s, don't put the eye makeup all the way up here. Put it down here and then just brush it up so it's like less caked on up there. When you're old and getting older, you got that mature skin, things change, man. What would I give 
to have my young skin again. I was always good at moisturizer when I was younger and I always wore sunscreen, thank God. But I feel like if I could go back into it again, I would do even more. I would like do a better moisturizer or something like be more religious about it, like no days off. Okay, so that's that. Like all these creases in my forehead are giving old, you know what I mean? It's giving mature. Also, I've said this before. Most makeup artists tell you to do your eyeshadow first and then you do your face stuff last. I don't abide by those rules, you know what I mean? Because this is how I've done my makeup since high school. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Why? Okay. That's my power. Oh, forgot to show you guys. Laura Mercier. I use 3C109 Smooth Finish Foundation Powder. I'm at this age. Mm -hmm. Then blush. Oh, Tarte again because they sent it to me, but I actually really do like it. Boom. It's like a blush, a bronzer, and a highlight, but I just do bronzer and blush together. Boom, boom, boom. Tap, 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 and boom. Put them both on like blush, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Getting some good color in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I go with this brush that needs to be washed. That's another thing. I need to be better about washing my brushes. Oh, and I use Tried and True Benefit Hula. Why do you need anything different? I've had this for years, not this particular box, but this brand... This has been my go-to bronzer. Boom, boom, boom. Little contour. Boom, boom, boom. Mm, mm, mm. A little bit up under the cheek, well, under the cheek right here. Go some shadow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Blend it into the cheek. Up here. Uh-huh. Why do you do it up here? I don't know. I think there's automatically a shadow there or something. That's what the makeup artists do to me when they do my makeup, so then I do it. Then you trace your jawline to give you some shadow. So you go from having three chins, like me, see all my chins. And then when you do this, if you catch me at the right angle, you're like, oh, look at her single chin, dang. Envious, envious of that single chin. Then when I wash it off, you're like, oh, just kidding. She had seven all along. Then, oh, I also need my eyebrows threaded. I haven't done that in a while. I need to make an appointment. Eyeshadow, okay. Okay, so I bought this one, Makeup by Mario at Sephora. Look at all these great colors. And the one thing I wish was in that palette was like just two shimmers. Just give me like, I get it, it's mattes, but just give me like two little shimmers just to go boop, boop, boop right there. That'd be a perfect palette for me personally. So I'm gonna do this color and this one and a little bit of that one. And we're going here. Mm -hmm. Boop, 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 boop. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's do a little bit of this action. Boom. And then I'm gonna go right in here. I'm gonna go under my big O heavy eyelid that I have. I have a heavy eyelid. Sometimes I look like I have a lazy eye because my eyelid's so heavy. <laughs> what? Flawless. Just. <laughs> okay. I don't remember which colors I was using, but let's do those. Okay, and then 
boom, under that heavy eyelid. This side isn't as heavier as, heavier? This side isn't as heavy as the other eyelid. Okay. Then I'll take a darker color. Let's try this one and this one, these two. Ooh, and I'm gonna go in this little corner, circle motions. And I do little circles into bigger circles, leaning towards the middle. Little circles into bigger circles going towards the center. Then I'm going to blend it out a little bit. Um, let's do this one. <laughs> you guys. Am I a makeup artist? Sometimes my nose starts running when I'm doing my makeup. And I don't want to like wipe it. So I'll just like roll up a piece of toilet paper. And I'll just put it right there. And like stop it for a second. <clears throat> I'm not sick, it's just my nose runs. And because I have the heater on in the house, then I'll just color in my pen pencil with my, my oh, what's my words? Eyebrows. I'm going to pencil in my eyebrows. Okay. Don't watch. <laughs> See, I didn't even mess up my makeup, and I was able to, oh, flew here. Try my boogers. Okay. And then, <clears throat> sanitize. I'm trying to get boogers on everything. Okay, so then, this I used Anastasia Beverly Hills for the brows. And then, brush it. Boom, you guys. <clears throat> oh, what is on this? Then, at this point, oh, if I want to do eyeliner, this is NYX, NYX, NYX Professional Makeup Eye Pencil. Dark brown. And I just go from here to here. Boom. 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 Oh, also, Kleenex. That's what I was using on my nose. It's this tried and true brand. You may have heard of it. Last highlight. I'm going to use this little fan brush for some highlight. I like Anastasia's highlight, but I think she stopped making this one. I don't know. I went to go get it. I couldn't find it, but... I like it. Ah! Oops. Ooh. And then do like down the nose right here and right here why because that's what makeup artists do all right this is pretty much it you guys and i do lips but lately i've just been doing like tinted moisturizer <clears throat> this l'oreal from the pharmacy l'oreal 140 peach charm Mm-hmm. Just because, like, I don't feel like putting on a big old lip. I could put some liner on. I could do that. I should have done liner first if I was going to do it. But I wasn't planning on doing it, and then you guys pressured me. So, no. I don't even have liner. Is that the case? Do I not have lip liner? 
Apparently, I don't believe in lip liner, so. What's a good lip liner that you guys use? Like a nude can go with a tinted lip moisturizer. This curling iron I love. Bio-Ionic curling iron. And then backwards, away from your face. This first section goes away from your face, so roll backwards. And then leave some hairs at the end. Don't curl it all the way to the tip, okay? Like that. Then your next section, okay? This one in towards the face. Boom, in towards the face. Leave some hair out at the end. Leave some of this hair out. Boom. Okay. And then you keep reversing forward, backward, forward, backward, blah, 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 blah. And this is going to give it that messy, beachy look. So you don't look like you have ringlets. It looks just. If you're trying to get hair, do it like this. But if you want that quinceanera ringlet look, then what you want to do is curl your hair all the way to the very tippy tips and do it all in the same direction. Forward, 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 forward. But I'm not going for quinceanera today. I'm going for sexy wavy. Okay. Now, typically I spray a bunch of stuff in my hair before I even blow dry it, but this is second day hair because I did my hair yesterday. That's why when I first started, there was like already some waves because it's yester hair. Yester hair is sometimes the best hair. But my yester hair, because it's dry and winter and all of that, need a little bit of help because the weather is not my friend these days with my hair or my hands. Oh my God, my hands are so dry. So I have curled, I don't like how deep that curl is like this side nice a little wavy but this one is like too deep why I do that see my hair is staticky and like because it's dry and then the more I touch it it's like look like even more ah all right I'm gonna do something about this one this one is too much so I'm just going to take some of the bend out I'm gonna use my curling iron almost like a flat is this still one yeah okay almost like a flat iron and just straighten so then my mom just bought me this new hairspray awaken finishing spray by surface okay see that my mom's a hairstylist, I don't know if you guys know this. She teaches hair at the beauty school in San Jose, at San Jose City College. So she always introduces me to the new hair products that are out. Okay, so this is kind of what I look like. it this is my look and I'll probably put on some tried and true hoops because that's what I do I don't know where they are at the moment but here she is thanks for getting ready with me